Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again. Welcome back to the shop. Now, the title of this video is Mounting the Right Angle Drive on the Bridgeport Mill. And you may have seen this video a few months back where I swapped a man for this uh, right angle drive. And I haven't used it yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll have to, there'll be a little bit of a learning curve, I think, here, because I've never done this. But I'm mounting it because I need it for a job where I'm going to drill some holes in the bridgeboard vise. So that's why I'm putting it on today. So, But the first thing I had to do, and I was told that I would need an extended type of drawbar with the extra length right here. And uh, the reason for that is because the quill has to be dropped down, oh, a couple inches, I guess, which would cause the drawbar up on the top to disappear and we need this extra length. Now, in order to install this, because of my low ceiling, you know, I'm in a basement, I have to do the miserable job of tilting the head and then tramming it back in. So I'm not going to... I will spare you all of that, but uh, in just a moment I'll be back and this will be in place. Well, I had to tilt the head a full 50 degrees, that's 5-0, in order to get the clearance I needed. And now I'll put the new drawbar in, and that came from KBC Tools. It was uh, 20 bucks only. Now, looking at the extended part here, you can see why I'm doing this, because as I lower the quill, perhaps two or three inches, there's still enough drawbar sticking out for me to uh, tighten it. So that's the whole procedure I'm going through here. And now I'll tram the head back in. I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, it's all trammed in, and I'll spare you watching me do that. I've done that in other videos, so I don't think it's necessary to show in this one. And now I'm ready to mount the head. The head is laying on this protective uh, material right here. And I've located in the quill the key, which is in alignment with that black Sharpie mark. Now I've aligned uh, the shank here, I guess you call it the shank of the uh, right angle drive, in alignment with that, so that when I lower the quill, I can feel that the key and the keyway have aligned. And now there's about a three inch distance here, or more until it totally bottoms out. There, so it's totally bottomed out. Now I will tighten these two metric screws. And I will tighten the drawbar. A couple things I forgot to tell you. First of all, before I mounted this, I spent quite a bit of time wiping the inside of this casting. It wasn't bad, but there was dust and, and dirt in there. And I wiped the the quill, although there wasn't much to wipe there, and put just a little bit of oil on it and then assemble it. And right now I do have the drawbar tightened, but here's what I forgot to tell you. That this center hole here really is a, a set screw that expands this. Expands it such that it's easy to slip on. So now I have to relax that. In other words, back it off and then tighten these two. But before I do that, I, I need a way of aligning this so it is truly, well, uh, I guess I want to say at 90 degrees this way. It also could be aligned this way, or I guess in four different positions. But I want to align it this way. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I could be done with a dial indicator, and there is a locating surface right here. But I've got another idea. Well, that idea was a bit of a failure. This is my 5-inch Bridgeport vise. I cannot put my 6-inch vise on because that's under construction, which is really what all, this entire video is about, getting ready for the 6-incher. So, anyway, what I was going to do here was clamp the vise onto this locating surface. Well, two things. First of all, the vise barely opened that wide. I mean, it's got an extra 16th of an inch or 8th of an inch maximum. 
And then secondly, the bottom of the drive is resting on the vise itself. So that really has only given me the approximate position. But I'm going to go ahead and lock it here anyway. And then put the indicator on, just uh, for my own sake, maybe yours too, to, to see if this method was uh, uh, viable, but certainly would be if we had a little bit bigger vise with, with more depth to the jaws. And there is no room to add a parallel or some temporary jaws in this vise, because that's the maximum capacity of it. Now here's the way I should have done it in the first place, although the vise serves as a nice uh, surface to mount my Mighty Mag here. But moving this from one end to the other, there is a five thousandths difference. Five thousandths. Well, all I'm going to do is drill some holes. That really is plenty accurate for that purpose, however, I am going to reset it here so that it's within a thousandth or two. Well, I'm now within a thousandth or a thousandth and a half, and I spent a half hour doing that, which I thought would be an easy job. But the way that it worked best was using, I had to move the vise out toward the camera, one uh, T-slot notch. And then I put in a, a big uh, parallel and ran it up against the chewing surface. That got me real close. Well, it got me right on. The problem is that every time you tighten up uh, this split here, it changes the whole geometry of the thing and, and uh, <laughs> you know, you're off by a thousandth or two or, or five thousandths if you're not careful. But anyway, with uh, I am now within one or one and a half thousand, which is as close as I'm going to get it without fooling around for three hours. So I want to get on with the video. Here we go. And I've tightened it all down so it's ready to go. All right, it's mounted and ready to go, except I wanted to make this notation now. There's a reduction here in the uh, bevel gears. I'm assuming there are bevel gears in there. But I'm going to rotate the spindle up on the motor end by exactly one revolution. I watch the black mark. Okay, that's one revolution of the spindle, and you can see that the uh, RA taper here moved only three quarters of a revolution. So speeds need to be adjusted accordingly, if necessary. I just got back from Ace Hardware, and you know, I have over a million fasteners here in my basement. And, you know, I, I counted them once. There are a million. And I uh, had to buy this fine thread bolt. Uh, two inches long, it's a hardened bolt. But that's the drawbar. So with a collet pushed in, this will be tightened down and then the cutter or whatever is in the other end there where the collet is will be tightened down. Well that's all that I'm going to show in this video. This video was just designed to show you how to set up a right angle drive so that the spindle here is parallel with the table it could be set the other way too, but the, uh, essentially be the same thing. Also, it could be set on an angle. All right, that concludes this video. Now watch the next video where I actually put this to use on that Bridgeport vise that I am uh, rebuilding. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, hopefully in that next video.